How many of you, any of you, had any experience of color analysis? No? Yep, a few people. OK. Those of you who had, did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Yep, fantastic. Does it help you in, in getting dressed on a daily basis? Yep, super. There are different ways of doing color analysis, but regardless of how you do it, you should get the same result, just a different set of explanations for the client. When it comes to determining what suits you, absolutely every single person can look amazing, but it is about selecting the right colors to suit your own personal coloring. Now, when we talk about that, what we mean is the bit above the neck, okay? So hair, eyes, and skin tone. And those will be pretty much unique to each one of you. And we've got three areas that we have to consider if we want to work out what suits somebody. And I'm going to do this briefly. And if any of you want detailed explanation, come talk to me afterwards. But there are three areas. And I'm doing the version of color analysis that uses tonal color theory developed by the Bauhaus artists and hijacked by people like me to make us all look fantastic. So essentially, we need to think about your depth rating. So what depth of color? Will you be wearing that dark color or will you be wearing a lighter color? Now, tonal color theory is brilliant because it starts from the viewpoint that you can wear anything you like, but please pay attention to the qualities. So the qualities involved in your personal coloring will guide you to choosing the version of the color that is right for you. Now, quite often, people have misconceptions about what is OK for them. So they'll appear and say, I can never wear red. I can never wear yellow. I can never wear, I can never wear. That's all rot, basically. You can all wear most things. It's, but this is about giving you more choice. Really, it's about giving you more choice. And it's also about knowing the rules so that you can break the rules, because sometimes you're going to have to break the rules. So depth, then. Darker or lighter or in the middle, we need to think about that. Undertone, which is whether your skin, hair, and eyes have gold and warm tones, or whether they're slightly more Celtic with what we might describe as pinkier tones. And lastly, clarity or contrast rating. Are you somebody who needs a, a bright, clear color, or are you someone who needs a softer version of that color? So that's it in a nutshell, and let's see how that applies to Rachel and see what happens.